can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this figure consisting of semicircles, we have one semicircle, the second semicircle, and the third semicircle, and the fourth semicircle. Now, this segment right over here must be equal to two units. Then our goal in this question is to find the area of the green region. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Now, what is your answer? Just comment your answer in the comment section down below. All right, so here's our solution to this question. Now, this figure consisting of semicircles. And to answer this question, of course, we will use the area of the semicircle, which is equivalent to pi r squared divided by 2, or half the area of the circle. Now, notice this relationship. These two points, these two segments are equal. So what we're going to do is we can slide the figure like this. So we have a full circle. Next, what we're going to do is to flip this a little bit, like this. And we flip it again. So let's go back to the, our original figure. Flip this figure. Flip it like this. And slide a little bit. Now we will go back to this position, to that position a while ago. So we can now easily find the measure of the green area. Because in this figure, we can now easily find the area of the green region. This is just the difference of the area of this big semicircle minus the area of this small semicircle. So how do we do that? First, let's have the center of this big semicircle like this. And let's call the radius of the big semicircle be equal to capital R. And the radius of the small semicircle as small r. Now, from here, we can rewrite the area of the green region must be equal to the area of this big semicircle minus the area of this small semicircle. So, how do we find the value of pi capital R squared over 2 minus pi times small r squared all over 2? But before that, what we're going to do is to rewrite this because pi multiplied by capital R squared over 2, we can rewrite this like pi over 2 multiplied by capital R squared. And the second one, we can write this as pi over 2 multiplied by small r squared because we have a common factor of pi over 2. So we can factor out pi over 2. So this is just the green area. It's just pi over 2 multiplied by capital R squared minus small r squared. Now the question is how do we get this value? So, Let's use this figure. Let's connect this point to this point to the center of the big semicircle like this. And we know since this is a radius, the measure of this is the capital R. And the measure of this length must be equal to the small r. And since this segment is connected to the point of tangency, therefore, this orange segment must be tangent to the diameter of the big semicircle. So we have here a right triangle. And since we have a right triangle, we can now use the Pythagorean theorem. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we have capital R squared equals small r squared plus 2 squared. And if we subtract small r squared on both sides, we found that capital R squared minus small r squared must be equal to 2 squared or simply equal to 4. So now, we can now use the value of this to find the area of the green region. So now, capital R squared minus small r squared must be equal to 4. And pi over 2 multiplied by 4 must be equal to just 2 times pi. And that is the area that we want to find. So, given this figure, then the total green area must be equal to 2 pi squared units and as always we are done